All right. So this is Dark Freak cruising around in the Roma. Um, there are keys to do stuff, but let's just let's just run it through as she sits. We'll see everything that Dark Freak sees. Much obliged. So as you can see, just a a standard loadout on uh, Haven. So we've got a couple of aircraft carriers, a Whisser on the far side. Yep. Nice looking boat. Although it does deserve a Coke can on the on the roof there. Uh, they're dark. Replay. This is true. This is a replay. Yes. Time for spaghetti. Yep. Let's launch some. Let's launch some soggy noodles at the at the enemy. And this is a replay from the North America server. So you see how all these ships are, are moving forward rather than like when you get into battle instantly hitting reverse. This is what happens on other servers. <laughs> Major the weird Roma camo has a pasta pot on it, not a Coke can. It's a Coke can. If you can get me a coat for the coat, can Camo ill gladly wear it? <laughs> Good on you, Dark. I'll see what I can do. There's got to be International Pasta Day sooner or later. No. Otherwise, she's what five thousand doubloons to buy it. Eight allies can move forward. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but they're not all French boats. They don't drive faster in reverse. Look at him trying to get the angle over the mountain. Hey, right, up a bit, down a bit. Come on, can I can I trick the gun into thinking it can get over this? Seven Kelvin. Dark freak, seven K. Alright, that should be a pretty damn good shot on the Eboa by the look of it. Yep, mostly center. Unfortunately, the ammo was too good. Well, that is true. The green, the green captain's meeting, which is always an A1 or A10. Yeah, it might be a little under on that one, Dark Freak, but it looks like you've got the got the aim worked out for next time. Or are you just gonna spread the love and hit the King George? Copping a thousand to the North Cal. That's actually uh, a pretty good exchange there. I'll, I'll take that for an exchange rate. I see that you have attended that one. Oh, you know, you gotta you gotta attend the captain's meeting once in a while. And most of the time I'm uh Illuminati holding secret meeting. <laughs> most of the time you'll find me uh, giving away a first blood medal to someone because I'm up front. Hot, hot. <laughs> too hot, too hot. So yeah, take all of I my games from early, earlier in the earlier in the night. Whew, that was a close one.
All right. What's going on? King George and North Cow and a boa. Oh, here we go. The uh, the DD has just popped up. The agile. Let's see how agile they are with a fur, with a belly full of lead. <laughs> One over pin. Better than none. It is the uh, the Roma. I just hit the R button. <laughs> I fully, I fully thought I was, I was doing that. All right, turning back away from the King George. Getting taught by his allies. Whew, that was a close one. Agile again, popping in and out. Dark freak knows he's not going to get the reload on him, so let's just get the dodge going, get as much of the heal back as we can. The Eboa is doing a whole stuck on the side of an island trick. Letting, letting a full salvo go. I'd be looking at that torpedoes on uh, on the starboard problem. Come on, run out of steam, run out of steam. No, okay, you're going to wear two. One, two. Going to eat that one. Is he going to... Nah, he's going to cop that one right in the rectum. And unfortunately... The heel and the flutter are basically about the same distance apart. The fact that it is going to give me engines back, I'd probably still recommend hitting it as soon as possible. Gave him some health points and uh, gave him maneuverability back, which is the, the biggest thing there. Okay, so coming up on the boa again. No, just gonna about face and get the frill out, get some health points back. Sounds like a damn fine idea. Thanks, Owly. She is definitely a serious hottie. I'll have to get an Instagram account now. Said that like three months ago, Baz. <laughs> but yeah, watching uh, watching Dasha go out and play in the snow the other month was kind of fun. Oh, there we go. There's the Citadel I was expecting out of the Roma the first time around. All right, so one down. There's a Montiplier ahead, a King George and North Cal. Looks like the King George is nice and broadside. Let's wait for the Mitsu just to chuck a couple more at him. Get a full salvo ready. Line him up. And just absolutely ruin him. That Agile is in a killable state. The Whistler is chucking some AP down downrange on people. I dare say, like placing my bet, it's either the Cleveland or the Montiplier that end up at the bottom of the ocean next. What do you reckon, guys? Out of all the juicy targets around, I reckon one or t'other. Either that, or he just gets a... Well, he might get a lucky shot on a gas coin and just break it in half. 
I was hoping to see a King George crack in half, but... Ooh. That guy, that guy just finished watching Pulp Fiction. King George coming out and around for the Montiplier. I still reckon that Montiplier is going to be the next one to the bottom of the ocean. Just about out of range. Feels like it's just about out of range by the way he's aiming anyway. There we go, another citadel and removed from the game. Where'd that Cleveland go? He's still far too far away. Well, the Ganois now here is in a good range to just be deleted. We just need a decent amount of armor plating. That looks like about it. Thank you very much. All right, that's three down. Ah, uh, you gotta love kids. Alright, so... Another Citadel on the North Cal. Another one of those would be quite nice. Let's watch it. Uh, our mate has stopped on a dime. We'll wait for the reload of the front guns. Let's face it, those are the more accurate ones anyway. And... Gbutska. There's two good hits. Not quite the Citadel we were hoping for. Alright, Glass and Air. Or North Cal. That glass and air over there is, yeah, a juicy target, but unfortunately a skinny target. Looks like our Cleveland isn't going to be in the map for very much longer. Ooh, told you it was a skinny target. And we've just lost our DD. <laughs> and it looks like we are going past the aircraft carrier off to our uh, off to our left there we have 
have five minutes left. Hurry up. Why double you at this? I think I'll put most of the chat to sleep. Alright, so this glass and air is gonna go down any fucking second now, because just even a standard hit from the Roma should put it to the bottom of the ocean. There we go! Oh, and he went down on a citadel too. Oh, and the North Carolina at a nice and juicy, almost dead. If we can spike that before the Duke of York does, there's the Kraken for the game. Bugger. Alright, what do we got? Benson or a Cleveland? And a King George floating around out there somewhere. Oh, he's miles away. We cannot allow this defeat. Our aircraft carrier is getting pelted by by bombers. All right, there's the Benson running away. It is destroyable. Maybe not in one full salvo. No. Ooh, that looks like a good hit. Another one of those. Blind shot into the smoke. Come on. Is RNG with you? No. <laughs> okay. Alright. You're gonna have to work for it. And you've got two minutes to do it in. Benson's dumped smoke, so you're not seeing him for at least another minute and a half. Looks like it's up to the Cleveland to pop out and say hi and explode. Ooh, the Whistler. There's that Cleveland. Behind a rock. <laughs> Dark Freak at the moment is literally stuck between a rock and a hard place. Aircraft carrier uh, dumping torp, so it looks like we're gonna eat that. There is Confederate and Kraken and Torpedo Dodge of the week. Well done, Dark Freak. And they're still gonna lose, aren't they? He gets a Kraken. He gets all of the bloody damage. And they still lose. It's like, hey, let's kick you in the nuts, but I'll kick you not as hard as the rest of them. You're still getting a kick in the nuts. <laughs> 927, madly going for the next cap, but he's a battleship. Go for the go for the lead. Yeah, right there is where I'd put it too. Hopefully you don't get too many ricochets off that side armor. One penetration. One penetration. Really? I know the Roma's bad, but fuck. Nine fifty-nine. Well, the aircraft carrier has actually helped out quite a lot by Jumping in and getting that cap. They are still going to lose it just by cap points, and it's coming down to the last few seconds, so it doesn't really matter. Can he get the kill, though? Don't worry, 
No. Bugger. <laughs> if only those shells went a little longer. Anyway, um, unfortunately I can't show the uh, stop start screen because that would require showing my screen and it's just not picking up on it at the moment. Like, that should be my background. That should be my desktop right now. And it's not picking up on it. So, um, what I'll do is I'll quickly at least get the load screen back up on the screen while I say thank you everyone for watching tonight. Um... Hang on, it should pop up. There we go. Thank you, everyone, for watching tonight. Have a good one. Um, remember, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Tell a friend if you want to see me give away more ships, because all I need is more viewers. Um, and, yeah, I shall catch you all uh, Friday night. See you, guys.